Pressure is mounting on government to open the country's borders and review the COVID-19 testing regime at the Kotoko International Airport. The latest is from the minority in parliament. I'll call on President Nana Adudankwa Akufuado, the President of the Republic of Ghana, supported by his Minister for Health and Minister for Interior, to take urgent practical steps for the reopening of Ghana's land borders to allow for free flow of persons and goods across ECOWAS and the rest of the world. Post-COVID, we are not out of the woods yet, but we want to see a return to normalcy with the movement of goods and services through our borders. And therefore, whatever proactive measures government needs to take, there can be no justification for the continuous closure of Ghana's land borders. The fleecing and rip-off of Ghanaians and international travelers into our country in the name of COVID charges at the Kotoka International Airport by Frontiers Health Services must be reviewed and reviewed in earnest by government. Nowhere in the world does anybody pay $150 for a COVID test. The Honorable Ablakwa returned from Romania, I was in Doha, Qatar, and the least you pay is $50 US dollars at most probably highest elsewhere will be 100. So for non ghanaians to be compelled to continue to pay 150 US dollars in the name of COVID tests, which COVID test arrangement procurement is questionable and raises questions of us using COVID as a money-making mm -hmm. enterprise instead of a public health epidemic that needs our collective efforts to combat and to deal with. We do not think that continuously persons traveling to Ghana from abroad must be made to pay 150 US dollars.